huge lava wave is coming our way. So we need to build lava-resistant houses to keep us alive. But will they work? Oh my gosh, Louie, look over there. A huge lava wave is coming straight for us. Oh no, this is really bad, Pip. We need to build some lava-resistant houses to survive. Where do we even begin? Well, we do have a lot of empty space over here on this beach. So how about we start building a house together? Oh, yeah. Let me get some really lava-resistant logs. Wait, what? No! Pip, we cannot be using dirt. A lava wave is very powerful and very hot. It will burn straight through this dirt. Oh, surely it won't, Louie. We'll be fine. I'm going to get some blocks myself. I'll get some of these iron blocks and I'll get some yellow and red concrete. And also, because we want to make this house look modern, I am going to get a ton of white and light gray concrete concrete. Let's just get rid of this dirt, Pip. But if that lava wave burns down this house, don't come crying to me. Don't worry, buddy. We will be just fine. All we need to do is just lay out the foundation for this house. And I think I want it to be huge. After all, it needs to be lava resistant and strong enough to stop the lava wave. Let's get Okay, Pip. First of all, I'm going to fill in all of these blocks down here with light gray concrete. This will allow us to have a nice floor inside of our house. This floor needs to be super good, as we don't want the lava to burn down our floor as well. Yeah, that is why I'm building this out of gray concrete. Because concrete is extremely heat resistant and can survive that lava wave. There we go. Now we have a big gray floor. I think I want this house to be shaped like an L for Louie. Oh, you mean loser? Oh, I guess so, Pip. But once we're done building this house, you won't be calling me a loser. I guess you can also look at this house the other way as well. And it kind of looks like a P. A Pip? Pro house. Yeah, a Pip Pro house. You know what, guys? If you think Pip is a pro, then go down in the comments and tell us. Oh, yeah, we're going to get so many comments saying Pip was a pro. Just look. They're all commenting it right now. No, Pip, there's one saying Louie is a legend. I don't know. Let me just delete that. Oh, you know what? I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's keep building this floor out of gray concrete. We need to build it very fast because this lava wave seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Fast as I can, Louie. Oh, don't worry, Pip. We have almost completed it. And there we go. We now have the floor completed for this base. It's time to build up the walls, though. So now, Pip, all we have to do is start building up the walls. And what better block to use than this really cool modern oh, white yeah, color? Super fancy. Yep, and the best part is we are going to make this look really epic and modern. And it will be able to survive that lava wave. It's going to be so modern. The lava wave is going to think that Jeff Bezos owns it. And then it might just turn around and go away. But anyways, Pip, we have no time to spare. We need to keep building. These white pillars will also work as a roof. And also the floor for the second floor we are going to build. How many floors are we going to build, Louie? I think we should probably put three just to be safe. Let's make sure this base is very tall. Because that lava wave doesn't look too tall. But it's meaning we should be able to just get to high ground and take no damage. Finish this house and put so many cool things in it. Or we could put a movie theater in it, a huge hot tub, or even a football. Yeah, that would be awesome. But here we go. We have built the bottom floor for this base. Now, let's go ahead and use some secure blocks to make it look way cooler. I'm going to use some of these black iron blocks to add some detail to the walls. And also add some strength. Because after all, black iron blocks are extremely strong. And are also heat resistant, which makes sure that we will not die to this lava wave. Can we just use regular iron instead? 
Well, that's the thing. Regular iron can be cooked in a furnace, which means it isn't very heat resistant. But black iron cannot be cooked in a furnace. Have you guys ever seen black iron in Minecraft? Well, I guess you're right, Louie, but... What are we going to do with all of these big holes we made? Well, Pip, we are going to fill it all up with glass. This will make it look super modern. And we can have a huge living room right here at the front. So we can watch this lava wave get closer and closer. Well, I'm making glass super yellow. All right. I will build a bunch of red glass on the front here. And you can fill the rest up with this yellow glass. And boom. There we go. We have this sidewalk outside of the front of the base. I think this looks pretty cool. What do you think, Pip? I like how detailed it is. Yep, it has a ton of different blocks and looks really nice. But now we've done that, we need to add some extra precautions to stop this base from being burned by the lava. What do you suggest we do? Well, Louie, why don't we just add some water? Wait, that's actually an awesome idea! The water might be able to put out the lava because water is cold while lava is hot. So let's go ahead and build a massive water moat going around this entire base. Hopefully it will be able to cool down all of that lava before it hits. So let's keep building around like this. We'll just break out a big hole just around the side. Let's make sure we have a little bit of a pathway around here just like this. Just so we have enough well, space. This water boat needs to be huge because this lava wave is ginormous. I know, Pip. That's why we need to make sure we have a ton of water at the ready. Look, I've dug out a massive trench around our base. This will be eventually full of water. And hopefully that will work. But if it doesn't, we need to make sure we have more precautions to stop the wave. So here we go. Let's put down all of the water inside of here. Just like that. I think this looks perfect, Pip. Oh, what yeah. about you? I'm just putting water on the other side of the moat. Awesome. Good job, buddy. We now have this awesome looking water moat everywhere. And there is no way that this lava wave can get inside. It just looks too cool. Yeah, Louie. What should we make next? Well, I think I have a good idea. If we need to cool down that lava wave, then how about we go ahead and put loads of cold things around our base? Maybe Ice. Wait, ice would be a really good idea. Let's grab a ton of different ice blocks and make a bunch of icicles that will hopefully be able to chill out the ice. I'll also use some of this really cool cryo ice because this is like liquid nitrogen. Here, take some of this ice. Wait, Pip, that's not ice. That's just ice cream. Please. Oh my gosh. But you know what, Pip? Let's just get building these icicles. We need to make sure these go around our water moat and cool it down even more. So I'll have some ice leaking into the water like this. This should be really, really cool. Just like that. And now all we have to do is just build up a huge iceberg just to power this ice system that cools down our water. I'm going to also add some of these ice walls to hold it up so it looks way more spiky. That looks really cool. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here and I'm I'm going to get two positions around this ice cube just like this. Now what I can do, Pip, is copy this ice cube from here, and then I can go around to the other side. How did you do that, Louie? With my Minecraft skills, Pip. I can put down another icicle there. And you know what? I think I want another one right here. This looks really chilly. And this will definitely be able to stop that lava wave. Hopefully. This ice mansion is looking way better than the one in Frozen. Wait, the one in Frozen? What are you talking about, Pip? Are you talking about Elsa's ice castle? Frozen is one of my favorite movies. Wait. If that is your favorite movie, then what is your guys' favorite movie? Mine is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. But now we've got these ice cubes. Let's go ahead and build up some ice walls that go around this base. We need to cool down this lava wave as much as possible. Oh, yeah. There's no way that lava wall can make it past all of this ice. Yeah. The best part is 
These ice blocks have these little grooves in the side, which basically mean the lava might get caught inside of the ice, which means it will definitely decrease the size of that lava wave way more. This is about to be so OP. Yeah, I agree with you, Pip. This is going to be the most epic base ever. But there we go. We now have a huge ice wall outside of this thing, ready to stop that lava wave. I think we might need some more defenses. I don't know if this will hold up. I mean, we have the ice wall and the ice hours. What else could we even add? Well, I have a good idea, Pip. Maybe we could go ahead and grab some world edit commands just like this. And we could add some big holes to the side of the base. This will allow us to make an area that lava could fall into. So hopefully, when that lava wave gets over here, it will just fall into this hole instead of covering our base. Oh, yeah, we can just collect that lava. Yep, and then when all the lava falls in, you know what I'm going to do? Yep. I'm going to put a ton of ice in here so it cools it down like this. And when that lava hits the ice, it's going to evaporate. Awesome. But now, Pip, I think we have a lot of good measures to stop this lava from getting through. I think we just might need one or two more. So what do you have in mind? Well, Louie, when my farming school got caught on fire, all of the sprinklers shot water onto the ground. So what if we put a bunch of giant sprinklers? Wait, that's actually a genius idea. How about we make a wall of sprinklers that shoot water at the fire? It'll be like a little mini water cannon. All right, Pip, let's go ahead and do that and see whether I'll... Let's put a ton of these dispensers everywhere. And now we just need to get a ton of water bottles like this. So let me go ahead and fill all of these dispensers up with water just like this. And now all I have to do is power them all with redstone. So let's go ahead and wire this entire thing up with redstone. Just like this. Let's fill it all up. Redstone repeater and fill it all up again. Another one. And then fill it all up again. And That boom. should be able to launch all of the water bottles out. All we have to do now is just connect it all up with redstone like this. And let's get it to go all the way into the base so we can activate it with a lever. I'll have it come over this ice wall and right here. So we can go ahead and press this lever when we want to. Just like this. Boom! It shoots a ton of water out. Oh, Louis, this is awesome. This is totally going to stop that lava wave. Yep, I am really excited to see how this lava wave survives against our sprinkler system. But we just need one more defense now. But what should it be? Well, Louie, every time we make traps, we always make lasers. So how about we make some lasers? But wait a second, Pip. Aren't lasers hot? They might heat up the lava. We want to make the lava cold. Why don't we just use blue lasers? Aren't they cold? Wait, that's actually a genius idea. You know what? Let's do that as a big defense against that lava wave wall. Let's go ahead and make a sandstone wall like this that has some blue lasers attached to it. And that should cool down the lava. Now all we have to do is grab our lasers and also get a color upgrade so that we can turn it blue. Let's also add some distance upgrades to make the lasers bigger. Yeah. And now let's go ahead and put these lasers in. So I'll change the color to blue like this. Get a distance upgrade and a mode upgrade. And let's make them really really powerful lasers like this. Now, if I place a redstone block on the back, it should be a blue laser like that. And it looks like a stream of water coming out. This laser goes on for so long. Yep, that lava wave is going to reach this laser and then it's going to just freeze. And it won't be able to get past and to our base. So I'm going to place a ton of them down just like this in order to stop that pesky lava wave. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. And it looks like magic. It's basically just like real magic. These lasers are definitely going to protect us. But wait a second. 
Pip, why are we building a house if we have nothing to protect inside of it? Well, I mean, don't even have an entrance. Well, Pip, how about this? Let's build an entrance to this house so that we can get in and out. What are we going to do? Well, Pip, I think I want the entrance to be just over here, like that. But I just had a thought. How are we going to get over this water pool? Oh, but what if we get lily pads? Wait, good idea. After all, we can walk across lily pads and it will stop us from falling into this really cold water. Then we can add a lily pad pathway that takes us inside. Awesome. Oh, this is so cool. But, Pip, I just had a thought. If the lava wave gets over here, it's going to leak in through the front door. So we need to make this door airtight. How do we do that, Louie? Well, let me show you, buddy. If I get some sticky pistons like this and place them on the side, we can make a really cool and secure door on the way in. All we have to do is just grab some of these redstone links and place them on these blocks on the side, like this. This is going to work, Louie. You're not even a redstone genius. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't know about you, Pip, but you've never seen any of my redstone builds, so you don't know yet if I'm a genius or not. Now, watch this, buddy. All I have to do is grab a button, put it on the side of here, and link up this redstone link. Now, the door will shut! But you know what? I'm going to replace this button with a lever. So now we can fully shut the doors. And let's put some stained glass in the way like now, this. Now, Pip, if you will kindly go outside and test it out, you'll see you can open the door now. Let me just spam this lever. Whoa! Don't spam it that fast! You might break it! Oh, Louis. If it breaks, that's your fault. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? It's fine, Pip, because I'm going to add some blocks in the way to make this entrance look way more secure. So let's just put some black iron, some stained glass, and boom. Now this entrance looks really cool, and it's secure. We just need to place down one more redstone link on this side over here. And now we can close it from inside. I think this is pretty awesome. Louis, I didn't know you. You were a redstone genius. Well, I told you you would call me a redstone genius after I built this. I I'm just that good with redstone. All right, Louie, but what are we supposed to build in here? Well, if that lava isn't going to be in here, we can spend a lot of time making some really fun builds. You know what? Let's go ahead and build some really fun things in here. Like maybe a living room with a TV. This will be so cool oh, looking. Yeah, Louis, I love TVs. I can't wait to watch the TV when the apocalypse happens. I think I'm going to keep my eyes on that lava wave. But if you really want to, I guess you can watch TV. Okay, I can watch the farming channel. Let me just change it to the farming channel. And boom! Oh, wait. The channel went off, Pip. Oh, no. It's fine, buddy. Because I'm going to make this look really modern. So you will enjoy even waiting for the farming channel. Let me just get some yellow sofas for you. Let's put them all around here. And then I'll have some red sofas here. You're so comfortable. I know. And one thing that's really cool is we can add some really epic things here. Look, I'm going to add some shelves just like this. And this will allow us to put some really cool things that we like. I think I'm going to put some plushies in because I love how cute they look. I'm going to put a zombie one here, a creeper one here, and a Steve from Minecraft one right here. I I'm going to put my little friend right here. Introducing Sticky Ducky. <laughs> Wait a second, Viv. That's really cool. It's like a slimy duck. Where do you get all these friends? That's so cool. We have all of these plushies and your little friends. But now, Pip, we've completed this living room area. What should we do next? I'll just fill in a bunch of these white blocks like this, just so we know where the living room area is. What we still need to do, Louie. We still need to add a kitchen, a bathroom, and maybe even a movie theater. Wait. 
Wait, that is a good point. How about we go ahead and build all of those things right now? We could probably easily fit a kitchen right here. So let's mine out some blocks and put one in. All we need is some kitchen tiles and a bunch of kitchen tables. Woohoo! So let's get some of these modern looking kitchen cabinets and some of these really cool red and yellow kitchen counters. I'm going to put my area of the kitchen here and your area of the kitchen here, Pip. The kitchen is way better than yours, Louie. Oh, really, buddy? Well, how about this? Let's have a kitchen build off and whoever has the best looking kitchen wins. Wait, Louie. My kitchen is going to be extraordinary. Okay, buddy, whatever you say, because I'm going to go ahead and make this look epic. I'm going to put two ovens in so I can cook a bunch of food. I'm also going to throw down a microwave and a toaster, because after all, I need to be able to eat toast in the morning and also make really cool microwavable meals. Then finally, I also need a sink, because why would I have a kitchen without being able to wash my hands? I'll just put it right here. And now I... I need to show people what kind of food I'll be cooking in my kitchen. So I'll get some steak. I'll get some hot chocolate like this. And I think I'll also get some hot dogs because I love hot dogs. I'll just put them all on the walls here for everybody to see. And there we go. I think my small little kitchen is complete. And wait a second. Pip, what are you wearing? My chef outfit. Um, why, Pip? Your kitchen is looking really strange. It's not, Louie. See, look. We have the refrigerator and then the oven's above it. Mm, I guess that does look okay, but that is a very weird way to put a kitchen. Unique, Louie. Look. I put the microwave underground. Wait, what? If you put the microwave under the ground, how are you going to put your food in it? I don't really know. But anyways, come on to the counter, Louie. This is where I wash my hands and make my toast. Okay, Pip. This is definitely very strange. You are like washing your feet at the same time as eating toast. That's very weird. Forget about the bathtub and the printer. That's kind of cool, though. I have to admit, buddy. But wait a second. We've built this TV and this kitchen. What else should we build? You said something about a movie theater, right? I would love to have my own movie theater. All right. We can arrange that. How about we make a massive underground movie theater? Look. I'll show you how we can build this. Let's just go a few blocks down into the ground. This will also work as a bunker just in case that lava TNT gets out of hand. So all we have to do is just use these world edit commands to make a staircase down into the ground. I'll make it one block deeper every single time. Just like this. And then this should be the area where we can watch the movie. So I'll just make a very large area around here. Let's just cut out all of this space and boom we have a large area where we can fit a flat screen tv this is a very sandy movie theater yeah i know pip but how about we add a wall then just so that it doesn't look very bad let me just go down here and i will replace the walls with black concrete so that it doesn't get in the way of our movie oh, Louis, if it's so black we can't even see the tv Wait, I guess that's a good point. You know what? I'll turn it into black glazed terracotta. Does this look any better? Kind of scary. Then, let's get some black concrete for the screen and place it all in like this. We will be able to watch movies in 4K. We're going to watch them so good quality. Yep, and now, just so that you can hear the quality of the movie screen, I'm going to put these speakers all around the movie theater so we can hear all of that sound around us at all times. Maybe we should invite that lava wave to watch a movie with us. Whoa, 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 Pip. That is a little too far. We cannot be inviting that lava wave inside of our house. It will destroy everything. Louie, I have an extra popcorn bucket for it. Now, Pip, the lava wave is not invited. But, Louie, how are we supposed to watch the movie without seats? 
Are we supposed to sit on the cold, hard floor? No, Pip. We are not going to do that. You know what? How about this? Let's go in my creative inventory and grab some seats. I'll get some yellow ones and some red ones and place them going all the way down the middle, just like this. I'll have some red ones down the sides and some yellow ones right next to them so we can sit anywhere we want in the movie theater. Oh, yeah, we have so many seats available. Maybe we can invite some of our friends later to watch Frozen. Yeah, like Mikey and JJ and Milo and Chip. Let's invite them over. But now, we need to make sure we can get up and down for when the movie ends. And we want to go back into the house so we can go up and down like this, choose our seats, watch a movie, and then go back up into the house like this. Oh, well, this is a good exercise, Louie. Up, down, up, down. Yeah, Pip, you're going to have a six-pack in no time, buddy. Oh, but Louie, don't we have three floors? Why don't we use them and build up? Wait, good idea, Pip. How about this? Let's grab some ladders just like this and build them going up into the roof like that. Now, we should be able to build on any side we want. We have loads of space up here. We, we have so much space. Yep, but how about this, Pip? These can be our bedrooms because you have yellow windows over here and I have red windows over here. All right, I have my PC set up in here, but I definitely want a nice, comfortable bed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get some red wool like this and place it in this orientation like that. Now I can make it look like a really big bed if I just put some white wool at the end. Look at that! You know, just to make this look a little bit more like a really cool bed, I'm going to get some oak slabs and put them just next to the foot of the bed like this. Now, I can just climb in and lay down. Ah, this is really good. But finally, guys, I need an alarm clock to wake me up in the morning. And you know what? I'm going to put it all the way over at the opposite side of the room. Over here! This way, when my alarm clock goes off in the morning, morning, it makes me have to get up and walk all the way across the room to turn it off. That will definitely wake me up in the morning. But finally, I think I'm going to need a window so that I'm able to see if that lava wave is getting any closer. So I'll put it right here out of white stained glass and it doesn't seem like it's getting much closer, but that could change any second. I finished my room. All right. Awesome, Pip. How is everything looking outside? Pretty bad! What in the Wait, world? bad? Oh no, it seems like the lava wave has come closer. That is really bad. It's almost here, Pip. We need to prepare. You know what? Let's go ahead and build a lookout point at the top so we can watch this lava. And hopefully, our bases will be strong enough. We have to build this fast. All right, I think we should make a potion brewing room. We need lava resistance potions because if we get put to survival mode, that might be really bad. Yeah, we need to make sure we're resistant against the lava. All right, let's go ahead and build a science lab up here then, Pip. So we can brew lava resistance potions. We just need some brewing stats like this and some of these science setups just like this. What are you doing, Louie? Well, they work like thermometers, Pip. They will be able to detect the heat and let us know if we need to start running. Right, Louis, that's pretty cool, but what else do we need in here? Well, if we are going to brew potions, we are going to need a lot of ingredients. So let's get some item frames, some water bottles, and let's fill up all of these brewing stands with them just like this. Can you see these brewing stands are now full of potions? We're going to have tons of potions to fight that firewall. Yep, and the best part is I have all the ingredients we need to make a lava resistance potion. Let's just put some fermented spider eyes in there. That is the only ingredient that we will need. Wait, wait, Pip, I think the lava wave's on its way. It looks like it's crashing down on our lasers. Hopefully they work and... 
Pib, I don't know about you, but I don't think the laces are working. Sure they are, Louie. Oh, Pip, I don't think it is. Look, the lava wave has just gone over the laser. It's not cooling down just yet. And, oh no, wait, Pip, the lava wave is getting closer. It's coming down on top of the lasers. It seems our laser trap was not strong enough. But maybe our sprinklers are better. Oh, our lasers were useless, but let's do our sprinkler trap. All right, send the sprinklers in, Pip, and wait, it seems like that's not working either. Why are all these traps useless? I don't know, buddy, but hopefully we don't run out of water. Wait. No, we're out of water in the sprinklers. Oh my gosh, how did we run out already? I don't know. Uh oh, this is a good pip. The lava wave is coming down again, and it's going over our sprinkler trap. No. Oh my goodness, but it looks like the lava is going down into our hole. Wait, hopefully you're right, Pip. Hopefully that is enough to stop the lava. Wait, look, it's going down. Hopefully this works and the ice cools it down. But wait, look, the ice is melting. Oh, does that mean it's working, Louie? No, Pip, that means it's not working. The ice all melted and that means it didn't cool it down enough. <laughs> Surely there's no way if this lava wall can get past our hole. Yeah, hopefully. Wait, Pip, Pip, this isn't oh. good. Look, the lava's coming down and it just went over our ice wall. Please, please, please be strong enough. It's about to touch our house. Come on, come on, come on. It seems like the ice is cooling it down a little bit. The water seems to be working slightly. Come on. Make this house secure enough. I don't know, Pip. I just know that it seems like all of the water is turning to stone. And it seems like the ice isn't cooling it down enough. Wait, Pip. No, 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 no. The lava wave has come all the way down and it's in my room. Oh my gosh, your PC setup is ruined. How am I going to record Minecraft videos? Oh, I mean, I have a PC setup you can use, Louie. Oh, that's very kind of you, Pip. Good Pip. Uh, I don't know if your room's going to last any longer. Look, the lava has come over the house and it's kind of uh, taking over. Oh my goodness, shouldn't we get one of those fire potions? I don't know if that will work, Pip, but try, come on. We have potions of fire resistance. Let me splash us with it just in case. Yeah, and let me splash this lava with fire resistance potions. Uh, don't do that. You'll make it stronger. <laughs> This should make the lava go away. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, the lava just went further. Louie, help. It got inside. Come on, Pip. Fly out, fly out. Stand on the roof. Yes, the lava took over our base. This is really bad. All that's left is a tiny bit of that ice wall. And wait a second. It just covered the ice wall. Our base has been eaten by the lava. Oh, my God. At least we can survive on our roof. Yeah, I guess we'll have to survive just here for now. Oh, but Louie, if the lava didn't get to our base up here, what if we just make a small house up here and then we win? Wait, that's actually a really good idea. You know what? Our house right now may not have survived, but if we build one up here, it still technically classes as a house, which means we will have survived. Yeah. Come on. Let me just help you up here. Let's just build a nice little foundation like this. And let's put some glass on this thing. Because we don't have to worry about it being lava resistant anymore. How is the lava going to get up here? Oh, there's no chance it can, Louie. Let's go ahead and add some windows to this thing. And there we go. We now have a bottom floor built. But you know what? Because I'm feeling very, very confident, let's go ahead and make one of these. A balcony. 
Oh yeah, so we can enjoy the views. I'll also go ahead and make a second floor. This should be really fun. We can put anything we want up here. Maybe we should add a pool as well, because we could cool down any lava that's below us. Oh yeah, maybe we could even make a hot tub. Woohoo! That sounds really fun. Let's just go ahead and keep building all of this up here. This will be a nice red floor that we can see through, just in case we want to. Yeah, well, this is looking super cool. But wait, what is that? What? Are you kidding me? Another lava wave. We just built out of the lava wave here. And now there's another one coming. Oh my goodness, can we never escape the lava wave? I don't know. You know what? Let's just build this up as quick as we can. We need to make sure we at least have a house. And hopefully, that lava wave will miss us just barely. Oh, I really hope so. No. I definitely know we will survive, Pip. Just the... Believe in me, okay? Believe in me. Oh, I'll believe in you as much as I can, Louie. But remember what I said... We should have made this house out of dirt. No, we cannot make this house out of dirt. You know what? I have a good idea, Pip. How about we make an elevator so we can escape if that lava wave gets too close? Cowabunga, let's do it. All right, all we need is a bunch of these piston extension poles. Wait a second, Pip. I just had a really good idea. Instead of building an elevator, why don't we just build a big wall that pushes all that lava back? Is that even possible, Louie? Oh, well, I don't know yet, but we have to try. Let's go ahead and build a ton of poles going out like this. This way, we can build a huge piston-pushing machine. Now all we need is a creative motor and something called a clutch. And hopefully, this will be able to push that lava wall away. We just put a clutch down and a mechanical and a creative motor in it. Now, look, Pip. It goes out like that. And when I press this lever, it stops. We can pull this back very quickly, though, so we can add a wall onto it just like this. Hopefully this works, Louie. Yeah, I'm really hoping so too. Come on, Pip. I'm going to get a bunch of super glue and we are going to use it to make a huge wall. So I'll build a huge wall all the way up. That's just as wide as this base is. Just like this. I'll also connect it to the bottom all the way down so that we can protect the rest of this really super cool base with this wall. Let's just connect all this super glue together. Make a big wall out of lots of white concrete blocks. I hope this will be strong enough to push that lava away. Yeah, Louie, this is our last resort. This has to work. Yeah, I really hope it does. Let's just keep trying. At some point, we should be able to push that lava wall far enough away that we won't have to worry about it ever again. And there we go. We have created this massive wall. Let's just see if it even moves. Let's just put this motor back to how it should be and press the lever and it should push the wall out awesome pip this is definitely going to work we just have to wait for this lava to get closer and wait pip look the lava wave is coming closer it's on its way and it's right next to the wall do you think we should try the trap yet yeah louis i'm so excited to stop this lava wave all right let's push this wall just a little bit further forward until it's right next to the lava then we can stop it and hopefully it'll push it out of the way how close is it right now pip couple more blocks all right i'll push it just a few more one two boom okay how did that do pip not close enough louis just a little closer Wait, Pip, I just realized this lava wall is very tall. We need to make sure that this wall we're fighting back with is tall enough too. Or else the lava will go over the top of it. Let yeah. me just make this slightly taller. And let's press the button. Boom! Let's stop this lava wall. And boom! Boom! There we go, Pip. How is that doing? Did that stop the lava yet? Oh, it kind of did. Wait, look! It seems to be working slightly. Look, Louie, it's working. 
there's no way. We just have to push this a little further in and... Okay, it seems like it's pushing the lava out of the way. We just need to push it a few blocks forwards. Just like that. And then we push it forwards again. And then wait for it to get out of the way again. Push it forwards another block. And look, it's pushing the lava out of the way. Oh, wow. Yep, I know I am, Pip. But look at that. We are destroying this lava wave. Wait a second, Louie. It worked. Yeah, look. It just parted this lava wave. And that means that <laughs> our base is safe. This lava won't come any closer now. We just survived, Pip. Yeah, Louie. We could probably get rid of all of this lava. Oh, let's try that, Louie. All right, let's do this, Pip. I'm going to go ahead and put a ton of blocks out like this. And let's try and cool down this lava wave with a bunch of water. Come on, we don't want any lava left. So let's cover everything in water, just like this. Let's put all of this lava out. The more water, the better. Oh, yeah. Let's just go out this way, too. And this will make sure that the lava wave cannot come any further onto our base. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. Pip, I am very proud of us. We managed to get rid of that lava wave in the middle there. So it won't get to our base. And now we've also poured water all over it to stop it from being able to go any further. Well, I call this a mission success, Louie. Yeah, me too, buddy. Let's just make sure that this lava right here is all cobblestone now so that it can't move any further. Then we will be sure that we are safe. All right, Louie, come on. Just a little bit more water. And there we go. We have covered all of this lava in water. And there is no way that lava wave can come any closer to our base. Oh, it's a shame we lost that house underneath. But at least we have this house above here. Yeah, I'm glad we have all of this now. I would say we managed to survive. Because we still at least have a house here. Like we did it, Louie. Oh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. <laughs>